Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Match Betting Chronicles. Okay, so at the moment I'm doing correct score dutching on this game, Cardiff versus Reading. And actually tonight I'm I'm doing it on three games. Um, there were five 8 p.m. games, but I only felt that I could reasonably confidently profile three of the games. So the Napoli game, they're playing Sassuolo. You know, there's no way I felt I could predict that one. Sassuolo, sometimes they're so good at scoring goals. Other times they don't score many. And Napoli, yeah, depends what mood they're in. And there was a game in the Bundesliga, Hoffenheim. Yeah, I, I just looked at the stats and I just couldn't tell which way that was going to go, which team was the favourite, I didn't know. Um, but the reason I'm only trading 8pm games is because basically I've got children and um, yeah, I didn't want to do any earlier games. Anyway, okay, so back to this game. I'll just show you what I did. Um, I took a bit of a risk because I felt that this game could be nil-nil. Um, but I've only half covered it, so you can see I lose £21 instead of £48 if it is nil-nil. Um, I've covered the one nil to Reading, 3 nil, only because the odds were so high, I only needed a £1 on that. Um, I've also got Cardiff for one nil, one one. I thought was a strong possibility, covered that. And I've got the two ones covered, and that's that's about it. I'm expecting this to be a low-scoring game, um, and I can show you why. Um, quite simple. If um, if I look at this, the league table on home and away, Cardiff, they've only um, they've only scored twelve at home, and that's the lowest in the league. Um, joint, oh sorry, no it's not, Preston has got 10 and Wigan has got 12. So basically all these around the relegation zone don't score many at home. And um, But you can see they've also, um, they don't concede too many at home either. So 16, um, that's not too bad. So that's why I thought it could be a, a low score like um, nil nil one nil, and um, now we got Reading, and obviously they're playing away. Um, Reading, where are you? Yep. Okay. So look, they're in the, they're in the bottom. I mean, they um, they concede a lot of goals away from home. Twenty nine. That's the most in the league, but and they only score eleven. So it you know with Cardiff not conceding many. Reading don't score many away from home. It's pretty, it's pretty a low likelihood that Reading are gonna are gonna score two goals in this game. You would have thought. Um, obviously, they could do concede a load, so there is opportunity. I think the market is expecting probably Cardiff to get a goal or two. Um, but obviously, you know, these stats tell you they don't. They also don't score much at home so despite Reading conceding a load away from home Cardiff don't score many at home so <laughs> that's that in a nutshell is why I've covered the scores that I have um, let's see how the first half played out yep pretty much just the momentum is with Cardiff doesn't look like Reading have done much at all um, let's see what the stats say about that. Um, okay, so 60% possession for Cardiff. Eight shots, two on target. And only one shot off target from Reading. So yeah, they doesn't look like they've done much at all in this game. So um, hopefully I don't need to worry about that 1-1. One, one. Um, but I am thinking about what action I could take to make this trade more safe. 
And um, you know, if Reading was to go was to go um, one nil up, there's always the danger of two nil. And two nils are odds of fifty, so I could just put one in now. And um, yeah, I only reduced my profit by one pound on these score lines, and it's a scratch trade if it's two nil. So that might be something well worth doing. I suppose the real danger is if Cardiff score one, that it goes two. I've got the two one covered, but I haven't got two nil covered. So I could probably also think about putting some money on the two nil. Six pound would do it. You know, it doesn't reduce the profit by much and it guarantees a scratch trade if it finishes two nil. So that might be well worth doing. Um, odds of 2-2, two, two, if the game really livened up, I could get odds of 110 right now. So could even put a pound on that, but I don't think I will. Can't see that happening. Okay, guys, I hope that um, video is useful. Um, regarding the 2-0, um, you might think there's no need, but... This other game I was on today, look at that. Sometimes you do get goals after one another. And um, I've, I've actually lost big time on this one. So, you know, I've lost my whole stake here um, because of these quick goals. So, yeah, that might be something worth doing on the Cardiff game. Okay, guys, back to this game. So, it does look like I'm going to lose this trade as well. If I do, that's three out of three I've lost tonight. Really, really poor. Um, but this one, I've also got the score right. Unfortunately, I only put half stake on the nil-nil. I did think there was a, a good chance it would be nil-nil, but I, um, yeah, I didn't cover it. So instead of losing a full stake of... £49.98, I will lose £22.98 unless there is a late goal. Now, you may be thinking, if I thought there was a good chance it would be nil-nil, why didn't I back it? And it's simply because correct score dutching, you know, the more score lines you do cover, the less potential profit you're going to make. Um, I try and cover about six score lines to be safe, and then um, I cover a couple more that are high odds just with one or two pounds, basically. So to try and sort of save money here, I have, you know, gone in with a half stake, so on the nil-nil to increase my profit on the other score lines, and that's, that's the risk, really. Um, so the problem is... You know, if you, you cover too many score lines, yeah, you're going to win more trades because you're, you know, you'll have more options covered. But will you make enough profit to compensate for the losses? Because at certain times, you are going to lose your full stake on this. And you do need your wins to outnumber your losses. So, um, on the Girona game tonight. I think that's finished 6-2. Can you believe it? Um, I've lost my full stake on that. So with some really quick goals. So that will happen. And it, you know, you won't always be able to to get out of the market. Although in that game, to be fair, I did have a chance, but I could have took 80% loss, but I, you know, I actually added some money and I lost my whole stake. But anyway, that's another story and you can see that on another video um, but yeah my point is that you know this this often happens you know the you are sure you know you get the scoreline right but you still lose money in this case I just just didn't back it with a full stake and yep it looks like in hindsight I should have um, I could have also traded out for around sort of £10 loss earlier after looking at the stats. Um, 
So yeah, Reading just don't look like they're in the game at all from this attack momentum. And um, Cardiff were sort of, you know, not strong attack momentum, but enough. So I stayed in and hoped that, you know, Cardiff would push on the more it got towards the end of the game. Because, again, they are in a relegation fight after all. Um, if I look at the second half stats, you know, they've had an, quite a few shots and they've dominated possession, Cardiff. Two on target, so that's why I've sort of stayed in rather than cashing out. Anyway, it is what it is. And oh, we might have got a goal in this actually. Um, I've just had an alert on my sofa score that a goal has been scored. Yep, you can see the odds being changed. And I've just got to hope that good old VAR doesn't doesn't rule that out. So um okay. That's that's a relief and hopefully I can um get the full value now. One nil would be thirty eight pound, but if it did go two nil now I haven't got that covered and I'd lose my full stake. So might be sensible to trade out here, but based on the attack momentum I should be okay but it has it has been one of them days okay so it's been one of them days where I keep being done up by quick goals so I have played it safe and um, I've stuck three pound on the 2-0 at odds of 21 so if it did go 2-0 Cardiff I'd I wouldn't lose my full stake. I'd gain a tenner. And if it if it finishes one nil to Cardiff, like I expect it to do now, I'm gonna I'm gonna get thirty five pound. So I've just reduced that profit by three pound to be safe. And <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's it now. Thirty five pound win or or a ten pound win. Okay, so yeah, I mean, um, it is it is better to be safe, isn't it? Okay, thanks for watching this video, guys, and um, I hope that's given you an insight into the drama of correct score dutching. I'll see you next time. Take care.